So nice and fresh faced, first day of Superbooth here with landscape, human controlled tape, interactive sound manipulation, touch pads that I love for Yoro, I've seen a Wu-Tang tape on the desk. Uh, we'll start with the tape, I mean talk us through for those that haven't seen this, okay, sure. what it actually is. Yeah, so it's a very simple um, idea and it's just um, essentially a manually, manually controlled tape transport or cassette player and you have a forward knob which you're probably hearing now backwards and then you have a touch mute I'm not listening to this but hopefully it's sounding interesting and then you have a, a dirty tone control which allows you to send out a gate from the CV um, gate outputs as well as cut bass and add bass you have a feedback touch in and out you have a gain control um, the tape sends out CV and gate um, so if you have a kick drum happening, it's going to be sending out, you know, a gate each time the kick hits and sometimes the snare, depending on where you have the tone control set um, or whatever kind of other audio cassette you put in. It also has an audio input as well, which doesn't go to the tape, but it goes through the circuitry, allowing you to uh, distort and overdrive uh, the incoming audio as well as feedback the audio into itself using these two touch plates and you can also mute the incoming audio and then the incoming audio also sends out to CV and gate as well. Um, and Does that mix with the tape audio as well? Yeah, so it actually kind of, uh, since it's sort of like bad summing, I guess you would say, it like overloads the, say, the tape signal. That's what I'd want it to do. Yeah. I'd want just a bad driven yes. sum of, of yeah. the whole thing. That 100%, that's where it's at. Um, so it, it's, it does like sort of pseudo ducking of the, you know, the tape audio while you're playing this and have like a drum machine coming in, let's say. Yeah. Um, and this is uh, version two of the product, if yeah, I remember right. So exactly. already, is this out now, coming soon? It's coming soon. So I took pre order it got crowdfunded people I'm building the crowdfund orders right now and then opened up pre-orders as well so Great. well let's let's listen to it maybe yeah. get a couple of different tapes in and check it out Uh, I'll put in a book on tape. I'm happy that you've come to take a look at my pictures. I've come to see you and your wife. She gave another nervous gasp, shook out her glances, and added... Has been a considerable fall. As well as the tape control, we've also got the stereo field. Kind of again, more human interaction with sound, sonic destruction, sound generation, processing. Again, for those that maybe haven't seen the stereo field, yeah. I guess a quick walkthrough and some sounds. Yeah, sure. So the stereo field um, is based off of two stereo preamp circuits, and it's a it's a mirror image of both of those circuits. Um, you're using your hands uh, essentially to interrupt the circuitry and also your skin becomes part of the circuits so your skin is acting as resistors and capacitors and um, you're creating mayhem within those circuits and connecting them together either through one hand, through both hands, so it's going through your whole body um, or like this. Uh, you can you can send stereo audio in through the back, which goes through both circuits. You can send in quad audio uh, through the front and then quad audio back out. Intermingle those uh, signals with your fingers, have them sort of um, dis destruct one another and, um, and interrupt each other, essentially. And then you have uh, uh, left side audio out, right side audio out, volume, um, input drive, input drive on each side. Those get all intermingled because your your hands are um, connecting all of those things together um, in various different ways. And you can also send out CV because you're creating voltage with your skin. 
you can send that out as CV as like a really chaotic control surface. You can also send CV in, but since it's technically meant for audio, um, it doesn't understand what to do with that CV. You start to introduce your hands and create feedback, then the CV starts to fold back into the circuits and create all sorts of really interesting tonalities. Then you can send CV back out, have sort of a CV feedback loop happening for really insane um, results. Um, what else? It sounds really amazing on rhythmic material because the, 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 the audio is coming in, then it's going through your skin and then re-interjecting into the, the circuitry and then creating feedback that then is um, responding to the rhythm, let's say. So it gives it room to breathe, I guess. Great with rhythmic yeah. things because there's room for these processes to kind of bloom and... Yeah, exactly. And, they, and they're constantly changing. So if like day by day, you'll actually hear different results based on like how you're feeling or like how moist your skin is or how dry your skin is or anything like that. It also creates a field up about like this high uh, in certain knob settings, sort of theremin-esque, but like incredibly noisy, like you get like metallic noise and really intense feedback theremin results. You can also breathe on it and, and trigger it with your breath because of the moisture content of your breath. Um, there's a couple other things. Uh, also with like my all flesh things that I make, um, you can plug those directly into your modular um, and then use your, your body to then connect the stereo field to your modular. So you don't even need like a patch cable as well to use it with your modular if you have these. Yeah, and the all flesh works great. I've only used them entirely just in the Yoro system. Yeah. But I get adding, having that connectivity between your instruments as well, I imagine becomes a whole other kind of interesting world to play in. It does, and it, it creates lots of really strange results and, and tricks and stuff. Like another a trick that I recently learned after finishing the HTTT is I can touch the output um, on the HTTT, touch the stereo field, have that go through your body, and then you can, you can hear the cassette through the stereo field and mangle the cassette signal that way. Yeah, amazing. Without connecting them, obviously. Great. Yeah, let's check out some sound, both yeah, sure. with the DFAM and, and maybe without as well. Okay. So usual kind of trade show type questions. Yes. Um, where can people find you? Where can they find your stuff? Um, a lot of different dealers in Europe and the United States, um, as well as a couple in Asia, um, also in Mexico. Um, you can look on my website, landscape.fm, and look at my dealer's page for to where to buy it. And you can also buy off my website. Obviously, uh, take preference to your local synthesizer store for purchasing. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you.